Welcome back to another Sweden video. In this week's video, we're going to be putting this electric car to the test and driving over a thousand kilometers from Stockholm, Sweden to the Arctic Circle. Neither of us have driven an electric car before, but what a better way to do it than a Scandinavian road trip. But let's find out, was it easy? Did it actually save us money than driving a regular gas car? And most importantly, did we enjoy this drive? So let's get this video started from the beginning. We decided to break this trip up to over two days because it's a thousand kilometers and that's quite a bit. So we're gonna drive about 550 kilometers a day, sleep, wake up, drive again to our final destination. All right, let the road trip to Lapland begin. Just gonna give it a lot. Let's do it. So I feel like we have seen every season of weather on this what like 40 minute drive so far we've seen clouds rain sun who knows what's next snow no I don't think so <laughs> but it's actually really pretty I wasn't expecting it to be this pretty this close to Stockholm we're in between Stockholm and Uppsala home of the girl in the dragon Re really pretty. I'm so curious. The more we stay here in Sweden, the more curious I am how it will feel in the winter. Because right now it's so green and pleasant, but when it gets cold in the winter and some of the green goes away, I wonder how it feels. Because right now it feels fantastic. I'm ready to move here. All right, we just left Uppsala. We picked up a few snacks for the road. We got some coffee, pretty good. So now we have another four hours and 37 minutes. There is one issue though that we're a little stressed out. Our time of arrival is at 10.58 as of right now, assuming we make no stops. And the hotel stops the check-ins at 12 a.m. Uh, it is an electric car, so we are going to need at least um, 20 minutes on the road on a really fast charger to fill us up. So let's hope we find a really fast charger. Something that I didn't anticipate being a problem with electric cars here is all the different apps and companies that you need to have on your phone. There was one that supposedly consolidates all the electric chargers and you can have a membership on it. Uh, however, because our app store is connected to the Greece region, is not letting us download it. So that's been a problem and we tried to change it and we'll see, wish us luck or we may be sleeping on the road tonight. <laughs> scenery just keeps getting more and more beautiful now there's quite a few water bodies that we keep passing and it's just amazing it's golden hour too which is great but also bad because that means the sun's gonna be going down soon we have another three hours to go and we're not gonna be able to see all this beautiful scenery but it's okay because we have another five hours of driving tomorrow but now we're running into a bit of a situation so if you haven't driven an electric car before, there's an optimal speed you need to be driving at. The battery life of the car is going pretty fast. So we have 43% left, which is 183 kilometers. So we're gonna need to stop and charge soon somewhere. And we have a few criteria. It needs to be a fast charger and it needs to be quite cheap. So at the grocery store, we got this uh, chicken salad, chicken curry salad, and um, this is our dinner. They're actually really, if you're traveling on a budget, these are actually very cheap. So I think this whole thing was about two euro. And then we also got some crisp bread to go with it, which is a very Scandinavian thing. And 
quite healthy actually and filling. They say the Scandinavian countries are really expensive, but if you want to, you can actually do it on a budget. What we've seen so far is, yes, restaurants are very expensive here and you expect to spend a minimum of 24 euro per person probably. So a little uh, budget friendly advice. Go to the grocery store and look for like pre-made salads like this. You get a good amount of protein in there. Grab some like bread or crisp bread depending on the country that you're in. It'll cost you five euro per person. We're here at these charges right here. Of course, they're the most expensive ones. Anyway, we'll see how much it goes. We start charging at 24%, and then it actually shows you right on the screen. So in seven minutes, we are at 39%. Cool. So I think it's like gonna take us 15 minutes, which is actually like really good. All right, that was 26 minutes. We are at 81%, so, um, although the car says 83. So we're just gonna get on the road because they say you should be charging your car from 10% to 80% and it, there's no reason you should be charging it to 100. All right, let me go unplug us and get going. Stop. Oh, you gotta slide it. Let's see how much this cost. Guys, the car just turned on. Did you even hear anything other than this little like electric zip? It's amazing. I think I'm in love and I don't mean about Olivia. <laughs> All right, they emailed us the receipt. So we drove about three hours. We were at 100%. It's definitely, even though it, like we charge a, one of the most expensive chargers, um, it's definitely cheaper than if we were putting gas, especially because gas right now over here is about two euro a liter. All right, let's focus on the road because it's completely dark and we will see you. Oh God, that was like completely black. Oh, what the f Oh, what? What? you need to put your brights on probably. What? Or is there something going on? I'm supposed to have my brights on? Am I really flashing? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if someone else does it. I don't know. I mean, in Greece, if you flash your lights to someone like that in Greece, it means like further down there's police. So you're warning them about police. I don't know. But what I wanted to show you is we're so far north now that look how bright it is at 10 p.m. Or like a fire. All oh, right, so we we like got really spooked. Okay, he's coming back. Let's see. You understand? Two yeah. big transports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we wait until they go yeah, exactly. and then go. Have you been in Sweden before? No. No. No, first time. So, uh, third day. Where are you going? Tonight we're going to Sholoftea. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry you came too late because if you drive down here one kilometer, we have a waterfall. It's really nice. Uh, Oh, yeah, on the way back. <laughs> Have a nice. Thank you. Thank you you so too. Much. Oh, so nice. You would think that there's like something big happening. I thought that there was like organs being transplanted and they needed to get them to save someone. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. these cars, they pretty much just translate to road transport leader. With the fog, too, it like seems so yeah, dramatic. We were a little freaked out. Coming from Greece, I thought maybe there was a <laughs> fire and I'm like, oh my god, we're gonna be stuck in the fire. Hopefully, it's yeah, not probably. too long. I think he's, it's coming right now, so we should be good. We're not gonna be too delayed. Varning, which I think means warning. I wouldn't say gloomy, I would say more eerie. Yeah, eerie. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's... Oh, wow. Whoa, look how long this is. Oh my God, I've never seen a truck this long. I swear that was like... The first one was long and the second one came and it was like... Yeah, I thought like, oh yeah, that's really long. It's actually like really wide. I've never seen such a thick pipe what was that it in was there for Siemens and then the and then the second one comes and it's so long how can that how does that thing even take a turn does it make sense that they had such a big thing for it that was like two big semi-trailers huge in one 
We should get going. Okay, so okay, yeah, go. yeah, yeah. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. We lost uh, we lost 15 minutes waiting here, but we still have an hour before the checkout close, check-in closes. All right, we arrived at the hotel. Let's go check in. Is it four? So how do we go? How is floor four? Well, this is floor four. Oh, reception, right reception. Yeah. What? So I guess we were on floor three when we checked in. <laughs> I've been to a lot of hotels. This is the most confusing hotel I've ever been in in my life. Three was... <sighs> and that's why our hotel room was only $65, because we're in a basement. Oh, it's right here. It smells nice. Oh, we even have a teddy bear. I mean, it's a pretty cool hotel room. Let's see the bathroom. Hmm. Good slippers. Nice. All right, we're gonna go charge our electric car and we're gonna see you tomorrow morning after breakfast when we continue this road trip. Good morning. We had a very restful night's sleep. Um, this hotel actually has exceeded our expectations. We weren't expecting this middle of nowhere hotel that was so cheap compared to the rest of the hotels that we found along the way to be like this. We just came back from breakfast and the breakfast was actually pretty great, better than our hotel in Stockholm. But what was even better was the view. It had this like long window and then the fog started rolling in. Anyway, now, what I've been really looking forward to seeing is the difference in charging in the slow charger overnight versus the supercharger that we charged uh, yesterday. This one is to take us to 100%. All right, enough talking. Let's go see what actually happened with the charger. All right, let's get out of this maze now. The one thing that I'd say that I'm like really disappointed about the hotel is you have to get on like three different elevators just to go one floor up. Cause you gotta go up, down, up again. So we're just gonna take the stairs. Last staircase. Right, moment of truth. Let's find out how much it charged to. Oh, it says 25 minutes left. So it didn't fully charge to 100%. Some of these have their own charger. Some of them you have to plug in your cable. So we plugged in ours. I think we have to unplug it from the app. We stop charging. It was about $25. Yeah, well, the faster the charger, the more they charge for the convenience. But like, this is great, wow. So much cheaper than a regular car. Yeah, now the light is white. Boop. Now we can start our road trip. I'm gonna be honest that last night on the drive we got a little creeped out. I think it started with like the lights, the trucks, with that whole thing. And then just being in such an area where you don't know when it's dark and there's like nothing around. But now it's a very different experience. This is actually quite a big town. And I think, what were you saying earlier, Olivia? It's not a town? Well, on the hotel flyer, it says the city, but it could have been a translation thing. Maybe it is a city, maybe it's not, but it's a lot bigger than we expected. I kind of expected just like a few hotels and homes. A 
I'm so glad we stopped. It's one thing to be driving through this stunning forest, but then another to just like sit there and take in the peacefulness of the lakes. It sticks out to me too is how still the water is. It's so peaceful and glassy. Just awe. Which brings us to a cool fact about Sweden. According to an official website, 57% of Sweden is a forest area. I thought that number was really, really big, more than half the country to be a forest area. But driving for so many hours like we have, it's just forest everywhere. And I would think that percentage would be more like 80%. And so I read that that's the, the equivalent of the forested area in Sweden is the same as all of the United Kingdom. And to add to that, Sweden actually has the highest population out of all the Scandinavian countries, which is interesting. Here on our stop, there's this like mushroom from like Alice in Wonderland. I was reading about the foraging here and I guess you can also just find like wild blueberries on the side of the road. Not and cloudberries. I, I will recognize cloudberries if I see them. One really cool thing about driving in such a long country this far north is we're about three and a half hours away from our destination, which is at the border of the Arctic Circle. And we noticed here it's full. Like a few hours ago, it was still summer. And here you can see the grass is a bit more yellow and the trees are changing leaves very, very slowly. And so you can tell the fall is just starting. Um, it's such a cool thing to just like drive a few hours and then you're almost in a different season at the same country. We're currently at 23% battery life. We wanted to push it a little more, but we're not exactly sure when the next one is going to be. So we don't want to risk it because we are driving in the middle of Lapland. So we're going to do another fast charge. Let's see how much this one's gonna cost and how much time is going to pass. While the car is charging, there's a small trail. So we're just doing a little hike and then uh, we'll make our way back in about 20 minutes to the car and should be charged to 80%. Also, this forest is filled with what we think is blueberry bushes and some other, I think, lingonberries. If anybody knows what these are and if we were right about these being blueberry bushes, let us know. Oh my God, it's like, it's like I'm 99% for sure it's blueberry, but we're not risking it. decided to run like for half a mile to get back faster because this is the current situation. However, this charger is a little slower. I mean, actually four times the slower. <laughs> and we came back after how much time of charging? And it's at 62%. We can't stay here for that long. <laughs> Um, so I think we're just gonna move on to our Ziploc from here where we're gonna do some grocery shopping. And there's quite a few chargers there. So we're probably gonna plug there. Oh my God, that was the cutest thing ever. We like completely stopped in the middle of the no road since no one was coming. This was the second pair of what is probably a mother and the baby. And they're just so cute. And I have a feeling like we're gonna be seeing a lot more reindeers here and since we've come so far north. It actually feels like we're in Lapland, whereas otherwise, if it's not winter, it just feels like more like lush boreal forest. But now we are in Lapland. It 
feels like. Yeah, oh my god, so much wildlife. Oh my god, and we're going even further north. Like, we have another 200 kilometers to go north. Yeah. It looks like a watchtower. Yeah, it probably is. All right, we have made it to our final stop to the town of Arieblog before we go to the cabin so we can get some groceries so we can be cooking. After driving around the town for 15 minutes, we figured out the information online was wrong. We could only charge on a slow charger. Luckily, the village next to our cabin has a Tesla supercharger station. The total came out to $108, which is an amazing cost for driving 1,000 kilometers. What's your sentiment? You know, my jumper is 100% organic. Oh my god, it looks so good right now with what? the light. My jumper? No, or you! <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a big one. There's a but, uh, there's actually a lot of mosquitoes here. We should get it out now that we're. Ow! 